So I've put together some charts of comparing Cadena to Avalanche to Cardano and Solana. I want to compare all four of those, all layer ones. Uh, Cadena is a proof of work blockchain, which is quite a bit different than the other three, which are proof of stake. We're going to go over transactions per day, cost per transaction, number of wallets, and number of dApps. Let's get right into it. So uh, the first one I wanted to look at here was transactions per day. Cadena here is in blue. Solana. So Solana was difficult to actually trace down how many transactions per day there are. Uh, Google's stating 3.47 million transactions as of March 9th. However, most projects, their transactions have decreased. Uh, we are in May right now. It is May 16th. Just for the date comparison for you guys, this other Reddit here was saying 60 million plus transactions. But then I went into that article and they were saying how there are these a lot of posts, there are a lot of transactions being posted, but they're not actual transactions. So I thought there was a lot of uh, confusing information there. Hit that subscribe button because I'm going to be giving away five Solana tokens. One of my subscribers, when I hit a thousand subs, make sure it's on public so I can see you subscribe. So hit that subscribe, help the channel. Let's get back into it. Avalanche here at 450,000 transactions per day. Cardano is at 115,000 transactions per day. However, 450,000 transactions for Avalanche is pretty low. If we look at um, if we look at their C chain chart here, we were up more in the uh, 800,000 per day, and we've taken a big drop after uh, May 9th, 10th. Oh, that was during that's since the Terra collapse. So uh, drop off in transactions, however, and then if we look up here, uh, the peak was 1.1 million daily transactions uh, for Avalanche. So here are transactions per day, Cardano at 114,000 transactions per day. Cadena is just 22,000. This just is not a lot of transactions per day. It's a very, still a very new project, new ecosystem, not a lot of dApps. We'll get into more of that further. Uh, just to kind of compare here, I wanted to bring up our market cap valuations. So Cardano and Solana are neck and neck with market cap. Avalanche, uh, 8 billion here. Cardano, 18 billion. Solana, 18 billion. Cadena at 550 million roughly for market cap. So we are in a down point of the market, some call it a bear market. I don't know what you wanna call it, but uh, projects have definitely sold off a lot. A lot of it was triggered by the UST crash. I did a video on that as well. You can check it out, I'll put it in the description. But uh, yeah, we're at a, we're, we're probably at a pretty good time to be accumulating. We had a little bit of a run the last couple days Let's get into our cost per transaction. Now this is interesting. Cardano here, the other ones are so small, you can't even see them on the graph. So I'm, I wrote here uh, how much they are per transaction. Cadena at $0.0001 uh, per transaction. Solana at $0.0025 per transaction. Avalanche. 0 0.000001 and then Cardano at 18 cents. Now, with all of these analytics, all of this information, there is a lot of variables in here. It is not as simple as every single transaction costs this amount, no matter what. So if we look at uh, Solana here, uh, it gives us our average cost of transaction 0 0.00025. However, if we go over to Snowtrace, Avalanche, we have 26.5 NAVAX is the medium gas price. So this is the average. It's not uh, it's not every single one costs this much because you can look at some of these. These are some really big, for some reason, there's some massive uh, fees here, one for $65. And also with these proof of stake blockchains or with, with all these blockchains, as the transactions increase, as there's amount more uh, need and demand on the blockchain, these gas fees usually go up. So Cadena's is really, really low right now. However, it's doing way less transactions. So, but what's interesting is that the average here is 26 NAVAX. And if we look here, it says that's about two cents. However, if we go to our unit converter here, uh, NAVAX, uh, 26 NAVAX, NAVAX is 10 to the negative nine. So it's like one billionth of an AVAX. So you look here at the conversion, AVAX, is 0 0.00000026 AVAX. And AVAX right now is at $33. So it is 
very, 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 very low at this point. Cost per transactions, that's a great indicator of the technology and growth coming to the space, projects wanting to build on there. And as I've said before, I truly believe that with all these layer ones, the, the layer ones that happen to have the world changing applications that get built on them, uh, those are gonna be the major, major, major winners. Uh, Ethereum just has such a head start. And even though it's analytics, uh, don't really, it's cost of transactions and everything uh, are, are much higher than, than these. So now I use some different uh, resources here. Solana was a little bit difficult to find the number of wallets. Um, Avalanche, 2.7 million wallets. Cardano has broken 3.5 million wallets. And Cadena is down here at just about 15,000 wallets. So that's not very many. It was hard for me to find the exact wallet addresses, but I basically use this number here. Uh, accounts over 10 KDA, accounts over a thousand. So we put these together. We're at a little bit over 15,000, um, 15,000 wallets. Yeah. So here, back in December 30th, Solana Phantom hits 1.8 million. Uh, I think we're higher than two million, but I couldn't find an, a, a really good exact number. So we're probably in between two and two and a half million uh, wallets for Solana. Now, if we go down to the number of apps or dApps, decentralized applications on the project. Solana, it says over 350 on their website. Uh, Avalanche here is stating 193 applications, Cardano 579, and Cadena at 46. So this is just interesting to look at, to see. I guess this kind of makes sense if you're looking at our market caps, uh, how the given trade is. Cardano now has a bigger ecosystem. Um, and Solana, but they're, they're, they're neck and neck if we look at market caps and evaluation right now. I personally am probably a little bit more bullish on Solana. I'm a little fearful of Cardano because of like those costs and transactions. So I didn't, get, I didn't make a graph for transactions per second because I feel like there's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of different information out there on how many different transactions per second these blockchains can handle. Where Solana is claiming 50,000 transactions per second, but in reality, it's looking more like 3,000 transactions per second. Cadena is claiming 450,000 transactions per second, but it's only doing 15,000 transactions per day, so or 20,000 transactions per day. So there's just no way of knowing whether this is actually real information. Avalanche... Uh, I think Avalanche here is toting 4,500 transactions per second. However, if we go to Snowtrace right now, it says 4.9 transactions per second is currently happening on the blockchain uh, tracer. So I didn't make a graph for that because I feel like that information is it can be misleading or it's just really difficult to know uh, what the realities of these transactions per seconds are. If we look here at Solana, we're currently at 1,187 second transactions per second. This is supposed to be how many transactions per second it's actually doing, not its capacity. Uh, but basically it seems like in the past that it hits around 3,000 and the network will crash. So uh, people are not, I don't wanna be claiming even though on Google and on these different articles, Solana claims 50,000 transactions per second that that is actually the reality. And I don't know if I necessarily wanna claim that Cadena can do 450,000 transactions per second either because that just hasn't happened yet. So that was the main reason why I didn't do that and, um, and why I just kept it to these uh, four different charts here. Now, what's interesting also is Cardano says approximately 250 transactions per second. However, we have the Hydra update that's supposed to be coming. And here it states potentially Cardano, 1 million transactions per second, Hydra paper release. So in this paper, they're giving um, the strategy of potentially how they can reach up to a million transactions per second. I'm interested to see how they can bring down this cost of transaction because even when you move car uh, ADA from wallets, uh, you'll notice the fee is quite a bit higher than Avalanche or Cadena. Um, and Cadena's CADEX is supposed to be coming out with zero transaction fees. So also, even though uh, we have these graphs that I made here, this doesn't show us the trajectory and the trends. 
so that's always really important to look at as well. Some I really like Snowtrace. The, it, it's very clean and simple to see here daily transactions versus uh, unique addresses and the growth. So there's a lot of growth in uh, in in most of these in base in all these blockchains. They have growth. So and but the market is kind of in the toilet right now, as you all know. So figuring out what you want to do, mitigating your risk, you know, DCAing in is usually good. Uh, I'm going to be looking to keep buying through this down point and uh, ride the next bull run. I don't think uh, these projects are going anywhere. But having said that, you know, after seeing what happened to UST, after seeing what happened to Terra, and I don't see foreseeing that happening with these projects, but you never know. So just be careful. Don't over leverage yourself. Don't take too much risk. Know what you can afford to lose. Know what you need to survive, the money you need to have. Keep on the lights and do all that. So I hope you learned something. And uh, keep tuning back in. Keep aping. Keep holding. Woo! Yeah.